I just got an email from a guy who was kicked out of a rescue place and did not get the dog that he was looking for because he used my methods. So here's the story. <clears throat> he goes to a rescue, he's in the yard. The helper, the attendant, the dog volunteer brings the dog out, the dog is pulling the lady out, gets to the yard. The dog jumps on Mark twice. Mark just gives a little push off the dog. That's what he said, a little tiny push. Dog jumps, just a little push, just not to let the dog do the jump, right? Then he's playing ball with the dog. He's giving the dog treats. Then she has him put the dog on a leash. She puts it on a leash and all he does he, in the email, and he's being very honest, is the dog kind of starts pulling that way. He just gives a little correction and turns the other way. Does that a couple times. The lady starts getting mad at him. The volunteer starts getting mad at him and go gra goes and grabs her manager. Manager comes out and gets, starts getting really mad at him and kicks him out. She's yelling, oh, she's yelling, we've done research, we paid for research and positive reinforcement's the only thing that works. Kicks the guy out, guy who wants a dog. Good owner, caring guy who wants a dog. He goes and he writes down the names of four dog trainers, me, Robert Cabral, I don't remember how to say his name, I apologize. Couple, I, I remember he said that him, his name though. Two other dog trainers' names. Gives it to the lady and says, you need to do some more research, okay? She starts yelling at him and kicks him out again. So, why am I telling this? Plus, I have a story like this that I'm gonna tell you at the end of this video. Well, why am I telling this? Because we have to live by principles. This deal with the dogs is not something that we just do sometimes. This is not something that we just do with people sometimes in our life where we are going to accept wrong behavior. It has to be a lifestyle. It has to. I cannot take a dog and let a dog pull me. I, if I was there trying to get a dog, I would have done what he did. I couldn't let it happen. I am, I am, I am into changing dog's behavior for the better, whether it's here, whether it's in a house. It doesn't mean I, every dog I see I train but I don't ever let a dog jump on me. I don't care where it is. I go to people's homes, I go to friends' homes, and I even tell them, I go, guys, sorry, I, I can't let it happen. The dog jumps, I just give a little tiny knee, just like that, just a little knee, I just don't let him do it. And the dogs are always like, whoa, dude. Like, everyone lets me jump on them. And I tell the guys, I go, sorry, friends, I, I can't turn it off. And it's kind of a joking point that we have fun with. But it's a lifestyle. You gotta live this thing. Mark did the right thing. He's living the deal. He couldn't, he didn't just want to do what they wanted him to do because then he could get the dog. This is a lifestyle. You can't turn this thing on. You can't turn this thing off. This is the way you guys live now. Okay. That's what I want you guys to start to understand. This is a way of life now. Okay. Here's my story. A volunteer, a rescue organization asked me to come to the San Diego Humane Society, it's like 10 years ago, to check out this reactive pit bull. And I was like, sure, do it for free, helps rescues out, no problem. I go to the Re San Diego Humane Society, which its training program was run by a lady named Nan Arthur, who's a well-known positive reinforcement. For years, she had, she had all the employees there, all the volunteers and the whole training program was run by her uh, exclusively. And they were deep. They were super brainwashed into believing everything she said. I get there, I go out in the yard. This pit bull's probably 80 pounds. Giant, big, big pit bull. And he runs and he just kept bouncing off all the volunteers. He'd run and he just hit them. Boom, and he'd hit him and he'd bounce on them like a trampoline. And I just see this guy jumping on the volunteers and them just like taking the hit. Then he gets to me and he gets right here, duh, 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 duh. and as he's jumping, I do a proactive knee, is what I call. I didn't knee the dog. It's almost too late sometimes when the dog's up on you and you knee them, especially the 80 pound dog. It doesn't matter, they don't care. So I do a proactive knee, he's jumping, I put it up, he had time to avoid the knee, but he didn't expect the knee because everybody lets him just trampoline off of them. So I go like this, he runs his big old head right into my knee. Doesn't hurt him, doesn't feel good. Then he's like, Ho! And then he goes about his business, he jumped on them less, and that dog that day was more rehomable because of that. Those volunteers could not believe I did that. They, I remember their faces, they were looking at me with their mouths open like, oh my God, I can't believe that guy did that. And it's not a hard choice. It's the exact thing I should have done. That dog goes, 
more rehomable after that, but they would have never thought to do that. They've been told you can't do that. Positive reinforcement is the only way to fix behaviors. Or of course, it's the opposite. Positive reinforcement doesn't fix behaviors. It's great for sits, it's great for downs, it's great for increasing behavior, it's terrible at decreasing a behavior. By the very definition, Google it right now, positive reinforcement, it's gonna tell you that. So, my point is, this is a lifestyle. We can't turn this off, we can't turn this on. It's always on. With your dog, it's always on. Okay, we're gonna love them, we're gonna exercise them, we're gonna spend time with them, but we are not gonna let them get away with bad things, and I don't care what situation you're in. If you make it a lifestyle, your dog is going to benefit from that, and your life is gonna benefit from that. So, guys, please subscribe to the channel. If you don't like it, the content, unsubscribe anytime. Just hit a button. Also, don't forget to like and comment.